wherever I go in the world, people almost invariably, somewhere, sooner or later, want to know how to get rid of bats, and when I ask them what the problem is, the problem turns out typically to be that they're simply afraid to have bats around, often because some well-intended friend misinformed them about the supposed risk of disease from bats. The case you're about to see is quite typical. Here in Thailand, like in many other places, people have heard often from the United States where we're supposed to know about things that bats are dangerous. Here's a case illustrating exactly how I respond to such fears. You are extremely unlikely to contract a disease from bats living under those tiles. The only way in the United States, the Center for Communicable Disease is very closely, we'll call it corrupted by the drug industry. The drug industry in the United States sell rabies vaccine for 300% more than you'd buy it in another country. Okay, 300%, okay. Mm -hmm. They mark Vaccine. up the price big time. They say they have to do that because it costs a lot for research and development. I see. It was developed in France where they sell it for 300% less. <laughs> but because they make so much money, mm -hmm. these drug company guys are on the committee that decides on vaccination procedures. Mm -hmm. And a few years ago, they started, they found out that it was very lucrative to say that bats could bite you without you knowing it. And so any t they gave out health advisories to doctors that if you couldn't prove you weren't bitten and you saw a bat near you, you might have been bitten and you should consider rabies shots. Rabies vaccination sales dramatically increased because of that warning. People would just see a bat fly by in the yard and they would go get vaccinated. But look at me and Sara. We spend our whole lives around bats. I go in bat caves with millions of bats in a single cave. I've been doing this for 55 years. The only thing I've ever been protected against is rabies. Like veterinarians, I'm vaccinated against rabies. However, you're extremely unlikely to get rabies from a bat if you don't pick up a sick one and let it bite you and then not go to the doctor to get vaccinated. Where I live in Austin, Texas, we have, we have a million and a half bats department warned when they started coming to the bridge that they were rabid and would attack people and they would get disease. We convinced them that there wasn't a danger as long as you didn't handle the bats and 35 years later we're still waiting for one person to contract a disease from a bat despite the fact that we have a million and a half bats living in the center of our city Hundreds of thousands of people come every year just to watch them come out. It's the, one of the biggest tourist attractions in our state now. The bats are in very close contact with people. We just warn them, don't try to grab them and catch them. They will only bite you in self-defense. And we don't have any problem. Nobody has ever gotten sick. I have never in my life been protected against anything except my rabies vaccine. Mm. And I handle bats all the time, my whole life, mm -hmm. and I'm still healthy. Mm -hmm. And if you go here to Thailand, the guano miners, like at Khao Chong Pran Cave, these people go in every day, well, not at Khao Chong Pran, but at, at Rakhang Cave, for example. They go in every day to mine guano. The bats defecate on them urinate on them, they pick them up, they do all kinds of things, they're breathing the dust from the guano all the time, they don't get sick. So, so, so how the belief in Thailand come from? 
it not it probably not come from that company, right? What? The what? How they believe? How the perception that the DC in Thailand? You think it it come from United States or you think? Largely I mean, from the United States. Mm. We are affluent enough that we can afford to be paranoid about things we shouldn't fear. Okay. <laughs> and and look. We did some research to see what the next most frequent cause of death was in the United States to rabies. You're twice as likely to be killed by a soft drink vending machine falling on you mm. as you are from bat rabies. People get mad at the machine, it doesn't give them the drink they want, they shake it, it falls on them. Twice as many people get killed that way as by bat rabies. I see you are more likely to be killed driving us back to town in one trip. Mm -hmm. A medical doctor in the United States several years ago calculated mm -hmm. that every time an American rides one mile in a mm -hmm. motorized vehicle, they exceed their annual risk of getting rabies from a bat. <laughs> so, one mile. Right? One mile, one mile. <laughs> What were the statistics on the rabies versus dogs and... Last year in the United States, 30 people died of outright attack from dogs. We're not talking about diseases. Oh, funny dogs, okay. And if you look worldwide, although you keep hearing about rabies from bats, bats are totally insignificant compared to dogs. Mm. 50,000 or more people die every year of dog rabies in the world. 50,000? Yes, mm -hmm. more than 50,000. Mm -hmm. The first time I came to Thailand, I talked to a news reporter that I just happened to meet in a restaurant. And when he found out I was working with bats, he said, Oh, aren't you afraid you'll get rabies? And I said, No, but you better be careful. The dog's here in Thailand. <laughs> I saw him a week later and he said, I was bitten by a dog and had to get rabies shots. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's true, yeah. Yeah, we have, you know, university once, they found out that 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 uh, one is dog. I mean, they have a levy positive. Yeah, one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in our university yeah. last year. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing: people, we all fear most what we don't understand. Mm. If you ask people, are they most afraid of riding a bicycle, riding in a car, or an airplane? You know what they fear most. They fear flying in the airplane. Yes. The airplane is far safer than driving a car, mm. and that is far safer than riding a bicycle. Mm. But we fear what we don't understand. Mm. Bats are active at night. Most people don't know much about them. Mm. And so it's easy to scare people about bats. Mm. But mm. all the recent reports of bats possibly having all these dreadful diseases, Ebola, SARS, mm -hmm. Nipah, Hendra, Marburg, there's no proof that bats have transmitted these diseases to humans. These are very rare diseases mm -hmm. that are only now being discovered in people because they're rare, not because they haven't been here for millions of years. Mm -hmm. But if you want to study these diseases, and you're a public health virologist, it is much easier to get a big grant if you call these emerging diseases, they're so rare that we're just discovering them, but you call them emerging diseases and it sounds like something that's going to get us big time tomorrow if we don't stop it today. Mm -hmm. And then we speculate that this may be coming from bats, but they have spent millions and millions of dollars trying to make this case and they still don't have proof that these diseases come from bats. Mm. In just this last case of uh, Middle Eastern, what was it, mirrors from Saudi Arabia, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. they speculate immediately that that was coming from bats. Then they found virtually incontrovertible evidence that it was coming from camels. Oh, come here. And these guys, but they got their grants for looking for disease in bats. Okay. So these public health virologists, when they found out that it was coming from camels, 
If it had been from bats, they'd have said, case closed, bats are the mm. problem. When they found out it was coming from camels, they said, oh, but the camels must have gotten it from bats. <laughs> <laughs> so he linked to the bat anywhere, right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if you, you know, for you, those bats are flying high over your head at night. Mm -hmm. You don't handle the bats and you've got mm -hmm. just about zero mm -hmm. problem. <laughs> and look at all the trouble and energy you're wasting trying to get rid of something that shouldn't scare you. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Mm.